We're in the process of restoring the interior on this 68 Chevelle. And you know, one of the things we've noticed that really needs a lot of work is their steering wheel in this car. The problem with the steering wheel is like most steering wheels of the era, the plastic starts to shrink and it cracks as it shrinks and soon you end up with little gaps in the plastic all the way around the wheel. So we're gonna pull the steering wheel, get it out and get some repairs made to it. In order to get this wheel off, we have to, you know, pull the horn button, get that assembly out of the way. We'll pull the center bolt on the, the steering shaft itself. Then we'll use this puller. Uh, it's a, just a two-bolt uh, two puller. You know, every steering wheel has at least a couple of holes or a couple of threaded holes to actually pull the steering wheel off the shaft. And it's a spline shaft, so you really need a puller to do it. Uh, you don't want to try doing it without the puller. I know there's, you know, a lot of guys can think they can tap it with a hammer and pull on it and end up hitting themselves in the face with a hammer with the, the steering wheel. But if you use a puller, you'll, you know, you can safely pull a wheel and, and you won't destroy anything. With that, let's get started. We'll get this wheel off this car. Okay, to start with, what you have to do is remove three screws that hold this particular steering horn relay cover on. I previously removed the other two, so we'll move on to this. Another thing you may want to do is mark the steering wheel where it is on the shaft with a sharpie that way you'll actually know which way it goes generally a lot of times there is a mark on the steering wheel but you might want to mark the shaft also which this one came off very easily. And there we have it off. Now that we have the wheel off, you can see it's in really rough shape and we'll either have to replace it or get it repaired and reinstall it. 